Hello, high school volleyball fans. It's districts, Division Three style, and semifinal action between the number 11 team in Division Three, the Full Recovery Indians, and the number three team in Division Three, the St. Henry Redskins. I'm Dave Bowen. My wingman, also known as the color commentator, will be Dar Nevergold tonight, and we're excited to bring you this match between these two Midwest Athletic Conference foes. Fort Recovery comes into tonight's match which, with an overall record of 17 and six. Six and three in the match. There are three losses to the Tri Champions, New Bremen, St. Henry, and Coldwater. St. Henry, 20 and three overall. Eight and one in the Midwest Athletic Conference. And as was just said, a Tri Champion in the conference, they fell to Coldwater in League A. Action. Fort Recovery with MAC Championship, one MAC Championship. St. Henry with 29 MAC Volleyball Championships. They lead in that category. Head coach for St. Henry, Tricia Rosenbeck. Head coach for Fort Recovery, Travis Guggenbiller. Our starters for both squads. First for Fort Recovery, it'll be from the serving line, Mara Pearson, number two. Number three at the net, Sage Luthold. In the middle at the front row, Kennedy Mullenkamp. Left front, Tegan Fortcamp. In the back row to finish things off for Fort Recovery, 22, Carly Kneekamp. Left back and, le and center. Uh, back, Kayla Heitkamp. The libero for Fort Recovery is number five, Callie Wendell. For St. Henry, your server leading things off, say, or excuse me, Morgan Barmer. On the front row, from right to left, it's Ellie Fullenkamp, Lydia Whirling, and Chloe Gels. And in the back row to finish things off, Carly Bosher and Lauren Tiemann. Your libero for St. Henry, Raya Busher. Dar, it's Midwest Athletic Conference, all-inclusive here in the district semifinal. St. Henry and Fort Recovery, how do you see things playing out? Well, uh, you look at this Fort Recovery team, like you said, the, the only three losses in the league have been against the top three teams in the league. So, you know, St. Henry's already played them once. They beat them one time. But, you know, you can throw all the records out. You know, we're in the district semis. And, you know, this is a time when each team can, can show what the medal really is. And Chloe Gels does exactly that as St. Henry gets the first point of set number one, the first point of the match. And you're right, you can throw the records out. I think in Division Three, this district is as good as they come as the serve goes deep for St. Henry. Fort Recovery going to go to the service line now for the first time tonight with number 14, Megan Evers, behind the serving line. And St. Henry's gonna go to Chloe Gills as much as they can. You know, the senior 5'10", 253 kills. So. You know, that's their big gun on that side, the, the net. You know, Fort Recovery on the other hand has some good blockers on their side. And that one goes deep. Our officials for this contest, on the ladder, Michael Lucius, or excuse me, on the ladder, Paul Offenbacher, on the floor, Michael Lucius, our line judges, Don Bryant and Larry Kaiser. Fort Recovery with the point, nice dig there by the libero, Ryan Busher. And as a result, St. Henry able to transition from defense to offense effectively and get the point we're tied at two. Yeah, and we're going to look at the, you know, St. Henry would like to really get out in, in front of this full recovery team. Because, you know, like I said, they've already beat them once this season. They don't want to let this team hang around. They may be 17 and 6, but that's kind of a disillusionment when you look at it, the record. Very impressive, 17 and six. We've mentioned three of those losses. We can go with the other three if we get a chance, but right there, Chloe Gell says, I'm not gonna give you a chance because I'm gonna find the hardwood. She gets the kill. Fort Recovery's gonna have to get some blocks up there, get some tips on the ball at the net, some hands on it there, nothing else to help their back row. Again, the serve by Busher. Oh, good set. Yes, excellent back step by Kyla. Kayla Heitkamp, she leads for recovery in that category with 337 sets coming into today's match. She's a junior, Kennedy Mullenkamp, number 11 will also be a setter. She has 287 on the season. We're tied at three. 
on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. There's a great <laughs> spike by Carly Busher, the libero for Fort Recovery. Callie Wendell almost digs it out, but it sails wide. St. Henry with the one-point lead, and now serving is Lydia Wehrling. Hey, you talk about Kayla Eichenkamp over there, 337 assists. She's had over 1,000 ball handling attempts and only 30 errors in that. And just outstanding player for Fort Recovery. Very impressive. I think two things I think our fans are going to see tonight is how well St. Henry covers the floor. They do a great job. And then another key is Fort Recovery serve receive. They're passing. They got to do that effectively tonight. A scramble there. It's a free ball for St. Henry. And they make do on it as Lydia Weirling sets Molly Wendell. And Wendell gets the spike. St. Henry up three here early. I'll tell you, Dave, we're seeing a pattern already developed for St. Henry. They like to spike to that end line, you know, which was very effective in the first game that we saw, you know, with uh, Coldwater doing that. You know, St. Henry doing the same thing. Whirling with the soft serve and Fort Recovery goes to their go-to girl, Tegan Fordcamp. The senior has 285 kills. She goes cross corner and gets the kill for Fort Recovery and now number 10 for the Indians. Tegan Fort Camp's going to serve. 49 aces coming into this match. Pushes Gels back. St. Henry able to get a hit out of it. It goes wide, knocks the clipboard out of Coach Guggenbiller's hands. You know what? He'll take that any day because he got the point. Uh, he had a little chuckle there. And tells Fort Camp where to serve the ball here now as Fort Recovery's down one, digging back into this early in set number one. Soft hit over the bump set by Wendell goes to Mara Pearson. St. Henry kicks it back over. Fort Camp from the back row. And oh, St. Henry, volley. yeah, great volley. Goes to Gels. Great job, bump set to the back row. Being offensive is St. Henry. Again, Whirling sets that to the back row to Morgan Bomber, and she makes do with it, gets the point. St. Henry up to on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Yeah, Gels. Whirling with 710 assists so far this season. Fort Camp with the back row spike. St. Henry digs it out. It's the bump set. And they do a nice job. It's a touch at the net by Fort Recovery, but Morgan Bomber goes with the changeup. And as a result, off the touch, the Indians unable to dig it out. Again, St. Henry with the three point lead. Gels with the line drive serve. It's an ace. Chloe Gels, she has 37 aces on the season. Second for St. Henry in that category, the 5'10 senior outside hitter. And no, we're not in Kenny Logan's danger zone <laughs> area at all, but Fort Recovery's got to be concerned with them. But that one goes long. Thought that was That's in from up yeah. here, but yes. We're far away from it. Don Bryan right on the call. Yeah, he's standing right there. Yep. So he... Callie Wendell with the serve, the libero for Fort Recovery. Goes to her counterpart for St. Henry with the spike. Wendell digs it out. Goes to Pearson. She hits it hard. And St. Henry is in the net. So both teams working the, the hard kill, or, you know, the hard spike and the soft, trying to mix things up, trying to find weaknesses in the opponent's defense. But the key in this one right now is Fort Recovery is just not folding. I mean, they, they came right back after going down by three, and they've come right back now to go just down one. Stage Luthold with the stop block for the point. One of, if not the most improved player on this Fort Recovery squad. Callie Wendell with the serve. Goes to her counterpart, Raya Busher. Whirling with the set and the spike attempt. 
Fort Recovery digs it out. Back to Gals, to Whirling, and to Molly Wendell. Fort Recovery comes right back. Nicely done. Whirling, again, a soft one that Fort Recovery digs out. Kennedy Mullenkamp does so. Another long volley, but no more as Carly Busher takes the set from Whirling, slams it down. St. Henry with the two-point advantage. Yeah, both teams playing a great job of covering the entire court. You know, they're all over the place. You know, long volleys, we've seen two or three of them so far. And that would be one of the areas I think uh, Fort Recovery has improved greatly. Their, their coverage, their back row play. We saw it on exhibition right there. Whirling with the set. She goes to her teammate, Morgan Bomber, but a nice dig by Wendell. Wendell tries to do it again. Can't get her hand on that one. Give the point to the Redskins. Fast and furious action here in set one, Dark. Yeah, it certainly is. And now St. Henry again up by three. Let's see if Fort Recovery can stop this momentum again. Olivia Gast with the serve. Looks like it's long. Fort Recovery feels the same way. They let it go, and it is. Cuts the lead to two for St. Henry. And I believe Dave, that's how they stopped it last time. A miscue by St. Henry and Fort Recovery able to come back in and then they tie it back up. Kayla Heitkamp now serving. Heitkamp a setter. Kennedy Mullenkamp a center for Fort Recovery. She goes to Busher. Busher to Whirling. And Whirling has called for a lift. One point game here on the Wabash Mutual Telephone Scoreboard. Coach Guggenbiller calls where he wants the ball to be served. Good serve. Right at the libero, Raya Busher. The attack dug out by Fort Recovery. Back row attempt by Tegan Fortcamp, but it goes in the net. Again, St. Henry gets that lead back to two. Fort Recovery's right there. Again, you'd say they're the underdog. 17 and 6 versus 20 and 3. St. Henry won the head to head competition during the season, but that's what it says on paper. That's right. But right now, Kennedy Mullenkamp says, I'm going to show you what, it, what it's like in real life. Gets the kill, cuts it to one. Well, really, I think at this point, Fort Recovery really has the advantage in coming in after losing to them during the regular season because they have nothing really to lose at this point. You know, they can play their hearts out and just, you know, be the underdog. Mara Pearson with the serve. Nice block there as Morgan Bomber goes with the hit, but Sage Luthold right there in the middle to block it in play, and we're knotted up at a dozen. That was a great job there by Fort Recovery. Pearson with the serve. She's left-handed. Pushes it over. Busher with the bump set. Nice job for St. Henry to get an offensive shot out of that. Fort Recovery digs it out. Busher to Whirling. She goes over on two. Oh, nice, nice dig by job. Wendell. Tegan Fortcamp goes across the net. Whirling with the set. Going to number three, Morgan Bomber, and she gets the kill. Third on the team for St. Henry with 131 kills. The 5'8 sophomore shows her athletic ability right there. She also has 56 aces, and she's going back to serve right now. Fortcamp sends it over. Whirling with the back set, and it works to perfection as she sets up Ellie Fullenkamp. Fort recovery there for the block, but unable to make full contact with it. The ball falls harmlessly on their side of the net. Spencer, or St. Henry up two. We're seeing, a little, again, another little pattern developing yep. here. St. Henry going up two, three, and then Fort, Fort Recovery coming back. Morgan Bomber gets the ace, as you said. She leads this squad, 56 on the season. Goes with the soft serve on that one, comes back with the hard one. Right at window again. Fort Camp with the spike, oh, doesn't nice work. Job. Great job <laughs> by Weirling. Goes over on two. She had 710 assists coming into this match on that particular one. She says, I'm not setting this one. I'm finding hardwood. She gets the point for St. Henry.
Coach Guggenbiller takes the timeout down 16 to 12. We'll take one as well. Division three semifinal volleyball, district style on WOSN. Welcome back to Kaleida High School, Division Three district semifinal action between Fort Recovery and St. Henry. Dar, Fort Recovery, and Coach Guggenbiller, he takes that time out. What's his point of emphasis? Well, right now is we've got to stop these guys on the, you know, on these spikes that they're getting up front there. You know, and we've got to cover our area a little bit better. You know, that last point by St. Henry was in no man's land, and Fort Recovery wasn't anywhere close to it. And with the timeout, Coach Guggenbiller freezes the server a little bit and gets the point. Cuts the lead to three for St. Henry and Megan Evers behind the serving line for Fort Recovery. A little bit of deja vu here, I'm thinking. She comes with the jump serve, hit by Bomber. They do a great job of getting a little bit of action out of that tough situation to Gales. Fort Camp with the hit, Gales digs it out, back row. Spike from number three, Morgan Bomber, but Fort Recovery, they put up the wall. It's a step block. I think that was Tegan Fort Camp that got her hand on that one. 31 Fort blocks coming into the season. Yep, Fort Camp, a huge part of this Fort Recovery team. Puts it on display right there. Gels, she comes back out. Another block by Fort Recovery. Go to Gels again. Another oh block by Fort goodness. Recovery. And the Fort Recovery fans are on their feet. And Coach Rosenbeck's going to take a timeout as Fort Recovery cuts the lead to one. Fast and furious action, Dar. What great play by Fort Recovery right there in that series. And great anticipation by that front line for Fort Recovery. You watched them out there, and they immediately, the two girls, you know, shifted over to the right as if they knew exactly where it was going to go. And they were standing right there. They did it on two consecutive plays right there. You know, great anticipation by that front line for Fort Recovery. And they're just playing outstanding right now. You know, St. Henry taking that time out because, you know, they're basically their coach is saying, you know, we've got to shift a little bit differently because they're obviously picking up what we're doing. We've got to come up with something different to get away from those two girls on that right side. Couldn't agree more. Punch, counter punch is what we're seeing here in set one. Coach Guggenbiller took the timeout, down four, 16 to 12, adjusted his defense just a little bit, and as a result, they were able to get some blocks at the net and fight their way right back into this contest. Coach Rosenbeck takes the timeout. Let's see how it plays out. Evers with the serve. Whirling with the sack, goes to Gels. She goes long. Fort Recovery digs it out, gets a good hit by Fort Camp, and she's going to get the kill. St. Henry gets a hand on it at the net, but it falls at the net on their side. We're tied up at 16 in set one. We got ourselves a good old good yeah, one, Don. We do, and you know, Fort Recovery getting great play from their back row, you know, on a lot of these shots by uh, St. Henry. Megan Evers puts that one in the net. She did a nice job getting some serves in and putting pressure on St. Henry, but gives up the point right there. It's going to go to the libero now for St. Henry. That's Raya Busher up one. Window Gets it across and that does for recovery. Goes Gels for St. Oh, Henry. They, they go to their go-to. So does Fort Recovery in Tegan Fort Camp. And Fort Camp wins that battle against Gels. Now there's not a whole lot of individual play in volleyball, but right there you saw it. Gels with her spike. Fort Recovery able to dig it out. A great Fort Camp. Dig. Yep. Fort Camp with hers. And Fort Recovery gets the point to tie things back up. Whirling with the set. Puts it right up on the net. Nice job by Busher to get that one over. Back to Fort Camp. She goes down the line. Nice job by St. Henry to get it back, but it goes out of bounds. What a dig by Morgan Bomber. But St. Henry unable to transition to offense effectively. The ball goes out of bounds. Fort Recovery with the lead here in set one, 18 to 17. They're getting great play by number five, Cali with window in the middle there for Fort Recovery. 296 digs coming into this game. Gels with the hit. 
Fort Recovery able to dig it out, but they're unable to execute the rest of the play, and St. Henry ties it back up at 18. Fort Recovery continuously serving the ball at Raya Busher, the libero. She's doing a nice job in that position. It's just interesting the strategy that we're seeing put on display right now. Lydia Wehrling, the setter for St. Henry, sets it. Wendell gets it out of there. They get it to full camp. She goes down the line. Wehrling with the set. And number 11 for St. Henry, Carly Busher. She doesn't hit it hard, but she hits it where they ain't to steal the baseball analogy and picks up the kill. She's fourth on the team for St. Henry with 130 coming into today's match, the 5'10 sophomore. And you see the volleyball matches, a lot of spikes and that kind of stuff, but those little tap shots over the net really play a big part in this game. St. Henry, number seven, Lydia Whirling. She says, you're going to serve it to our libero? We'll serve it at yours. Callie Wendell gives a great effort, but unable to pass that up to the setter. St. Henry with the two-point lead. They go at Wendell again. She does a nice job with the pass that time to her teammate, number 11, who then goes to Fort Camp. St. Henry, free balls are back over. Fort Recovery being aggressive. Give the kill that time to Paige Guggenbiller. And Fort Recovery down a point, but it seems like they're more aggressive right now, Dar. Yes, they are, and that's, you know, 100 kills for that young lady coming into this match, and that was a big one right there. Tegan Fort Camp with the serve. Gels digs it out. Nice job uh -huh. for Camp in the back row. They get it back over. Busher to Whirling to Gels. Oh, nice. my. Oh, yes. <laughs> what effort right there. A great hit by St. Henry. The Fort Recovery does everything they can. They don't come up with a point, but you can't fault the no, effort. Absolutely not. That was a fantastic effort by Fort Recovery. They were all over that court. Chloe Gels with the serve for St. Henry. Rides up on Mara Pearson. It's a floater that came up, and she's unable to handle it, and Coach Guggenbiller is going to call a timeout. We'll take a timeout, too. District semifinal action. The winner advances to play Coldwater, and you're watching it on WOSN. Welcome back to Kaleida High School, our premier sponsor for tonight's district semifinal match between Fort Recovery and St. Henry is Stockler Concrete. Stockler Concrete wishes the St. Henry Redskins good luck in tonight's match. And I got to share, Don, Stockler Concrete, that's who put a basement in for this guy one day, Bowen, back in 2007 when he built his house. They came all the way up to Convoy and took care of it. He did a great well, job. Good. Good. So 22-19, Coach Guggenbiller takes his second time out, and if it works out for him like it did before, they'll get a stop and get a run, but they got to do that being down three late in set one. Oh, they certainly do, and, you know, they're just playing their hearts out right now. Nicely done on the block. Looks like number 11 got that block, Carly Busher. The middle hitter, a sophomore of 5'10", pushes the lead to four for St. Henry. And again, our scoreboard sponsor, Wabash Mutual Telephone. That's wow. a line drive right was, there. Yeah, you can't do anything with that one there. That, was, that had some downward trajectory right from the heart of it. Chloe Gells, as you said, downward trajectory, line drive. Callie Wendell gave her best effort, but it's set point. Wendell digs that one out. Oh, and that's going to go out of bounds. Great set there by Kennedy Mullenkamp for Fort Recovery. And then Ma Pearson gets the kills. It goes out of bounds. It's do or die in set one for Fort Recovery. Callie Wendell with the serve to her counterpart at Libero Busher. Wurling then hits it. And Molly Wendell gets it. Molly Wendell gets the kill. St. Henry gets set one and momentum 
in this district semifinal contest. And you're watching it all right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Kaleida High School. It's Fort Recovery, it's St. Henry, it's district semifinal action in Division Three. Number 11, Fort Recovery versus number three, St. Henry. St. Henry comes away with the first set, 25 to 20. And we want to thank today's premier sponsor for the St. Henry Redskins, Stockler Concrete, wishing the St. Henry Redskins good luck tonight. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at WOSN.TV. Stats from that first set, Dar. Fort Recovery, they had eight kills with Tegan Fort Camp having four, one ace, and then they have the two-headed monster, if you will, at center. Kayla Heitkamp had three, and Kennedy Mollenkamp had two. For eight kills overall, one ace, and eight assists. St. Henry, 14 kills, and it was a sharing of the wealth. Lydia Wheeling set Chloe Gels for three kills, Ellie Fullen came for three kills, and Carly Busher for three kills. Five aces led by Chloe Gels with three, and then Wheeling had 11 assists. We start set two with St. Henry getting a point right away. It's imperative for Fort Recovery to get off to a good start here, Doc. And, and another thing, too, is you look at those stats, too, it's only one ace for Fort Recovery. Again, you know, you've got to get more aces than that. You can't allow St. Henry to cover as much territory as they are right now. Right there, Willing goes with the short set to her teammate, number for Molly Wendell, but they're unable to execute it, and Fort Recovery gets the point. That short set is lethal when you do it correctly, but unfortunately that time doesn't come through. Fort Recovery now serving Megan Evers. Gels with the spike. That one also was a block. I thought maybe it didn't get above the net, but they're gonna call it a block. Well, that Chloe Gales is some, some kind of a striker, isn't she? Actually, I missed that. That one did get over yeah. before recovery. Wasn't able to block, um, execute the block. And Callie Wendell's got to get this one over. It's a free ball for St. Henry. Whirling goes over on two. Great decision. The ball was tight to the net, but Fort recovery digs it out. Fort Camp with the hit. Gels digs it out, comes back to her, and she hits it where they ain't, Dar. I'll and tell you. St. Henry up three to one. Boy, well, she's deadly from that corner right there. And, you know, she's fun, covers all of the court with those, those spikes. And 253 kills coming into this one. She's a senior at 5'10", and she's using all that 5'10 frame to get up there at least another two or three feet. As we saw, the kills were even for St. Henry, but Gels is the go-to girl. She executes it right there. Fort Recovery now. Fort Camp with the hit. Dug out by St. Henry. They push it over. Fort Recovery does the same. Goes back to the horse in Fort Camp. Now Gels, and it's blocked. Nicely done by Fort Recovery to get the point. 11 and 22 at the net. That's Kennedy Mullenkamp and Carly Kneekamp. Don't know for sure which one got it, but they both share that as an assist and a, uh, as far as the block is concerned, and they get to serve down three to two. Whirling sets Gels again. Dug out by Mara Pearson. But we're going to have a double hit. St. Henry just constantly yes. putting that pressure on you defensively. You got to get a hand on it at the net, but they've got a plethora of hitters. Whirling has her choice as a setter and defensively as a blocker. You really got to be quick, and sometimes you got to guess. Sometimes you guess right, sometimes you guess wrong. Free ball um, over for Fort Recovery. And Same long, thing. Vol yeah. long volleys are in the favor of St. Henry, I'll tell you. Right now they are, yes. Callie Wendell digs it out. And unfortunately, Fort Camp was going backwards on that physically and unable to get a good hit on it. St. Henry pushes the lead to three. Again, early on, you want to keep things tight. 
big, big point here for a Fort Recovery. See how they do. Wendell digs that one out. Nice job by Fort Ooh, Kim. Wow. She's a front row player, but she hit it from the back. But that right there is the definition of a spike from one Carly Bump, or Carly Busher, excuse me, and give the point to St. Henry. Well, and we talked about that as far as St. Henry's coverage of the court, and that's why I said, you know, for recovery, you can't be in these long volleys with them because they end up paying the price because St. Henry's just doing a great job of covering the court all over. Here comes Fort Recovery, Fort Camp on the right side. Busher, the libero, does a great job digging it out, whirling to Gels, and Callie Wendell says, I can dig too. And Fort Recovery gets the point as Fort Camp slams one down. That's a big point for Fort Recovery right there to stop the bleeding. Oh, a little yeah, bit. that was a must point for Fort Recovery right there, you know, because St. Henry is starting to build that little momentum. You know, and that's the last thing you want to see a team that's 20 and 3 to do. Tegan Ford Camp with the serve. And it's an ace for Ford Camp. She leads Fort Recovery in that category. The senior has 49. Make that 50 coming into tonight's match and continuing it right there, Dar. That's what you said Fort Recovery needs to get more of. Yeah, they need to score and they need to score quickly. You get an ace, but then you hit it long, so it's tit for tat. And as a result, St. Henry's going to get the serve. Number one, Chloe Gals behind the line. Up three, St. Henry looking to push it at Fort Recovery. Callie Wendell does a nice job. Mara Pearson goes over on two, but St. Henry is able to defend it. Give the kill to Carly Busher again. Does a nice job right there. That was on two as well. well Busher's going to have to come up big for him as Gills goes back and then, you know, to serve back there. She's off that front line. So, you know, for St. Henry to have somebody else step up up there, you know, is what they need. Great point in this rotation. That is a situation, and Busher has taken advantage of the opportunity. A lob serve for Gells. She digs out that spike attempt by Fort Recovery. Fort Camp digs one out, and we go to Mara Pearson. And excellent arm strength right there by Morgan Bomber. Again, just like we saw earlier with Coldwater and um, Ottawa Glandorf when Sienna Fry, the big hitter, was serving for OG. They did a nice job with the rotation. The other girls stepping up. The big hitter for St. Henry, Chloe Gells. The other girls are stepping up and taking advantage of the opportunity. And they certainly are. And Gills, you know, strong at the net, but she's also strong on her serve because, again, when you've got a girl like that, she can get up, she can hit it hard, clear the net just barely, put a lot of muster on it when it comes across the net. But it's big when you've got the other girls making the rotation in there and able to cover the network up front like the St. Henry's able to do, you know. It's a double whammy when you're for recovery because now you got to worry about that. And eventually, you know, Gills is going to hit a couple of them from that back row back there, too. Yeah, Morgan Barmer with that last kill. What she displayed there, the 5'8 sophomore in my arm, and, or in my opinion, I, and I say this as a compliment, a heavy arm. She came through the ball strong, and that ball, maybe not a tremendous amount of velocity, but it's just a hard ball. It's like you're watching a baseball pitcher and you're batting, and you're like, I can hit this guy. His fastball isn't that fast, but it comes in there, and when you go and swing and make contact, you think you're going to break your wrist. Right. And that's what Bomber did right there. Came through the ball and deceivingly, uh, velocity, deceiving velocity, and then also a heavy ball. Here we go, Gels with the serve. Callie Wendell, nice job as the libero. Serve we see for recovery, hits it over. Busher, we're going to go on two for St. Henry. For recovery, does a nice job. And there's Pearson again. But we have two hits on Fort Recovery's side of the net. And 10 to four here in set number two. Fort Recovery, they just used that timeout. They got to get it done here, Dar. They got to get a stop right here. Mm -hmm. A good serve, too. Pearson with the spike dug out by St. Henry. Wendell gets a hand on it, does a nice job. It's a free ball. St. Henry going to look to do something with it. Whirling goes back set, and she hits it hard. Does Carly Busher again. 
a sidewinder right there for recovery. They get an arm on it, but that's all they do. That ball goes deep into the crowd. Well, St. Henry's got the luxury now, like we said, but Gill's back there. Anything that's hit deep back there, she's got the arm strength to get it over the net. Set by Mullenkamp. And off of the spike, Fort Recovery gets the point. They needed that one in the worst of ways. Callie Wendell going to serve now for Fort Recovery. And now they got to string together about three or four of these. They need a couple aces in here. Set St. Henry back on their heels a little bit. Coach Google would take those aces, Dar. But right now, Fort Recovery able to bump, set, and spike and give the spike to Morgan Bomber again. Substitution for the Redskins as Olivia Gast comes in for Carly Busher. And Gast is going to go right behind that serving line for St. Henry. She's fourth on the team with 25 aces. There's the set to Mullenkamp, and it goes long. St. Henry's got Camp up there on the front line, the six-foot junior, and that's that's trouble for uh, Fort Recovery, that's for sure. So here we go again. Camp with the set. Goes back set to Guggenbiller, and St. Henry does a nice job of getting it over. And they get the point. The ball was up against the net. Good athleticism from St. Henry to get it over. And then an unforced error on Fort Recovery side of the net. Reaps the point for St. Henry. They're up nine now, Dar. Yeah, this is a must stop again for Fort Recovery. They've had a few of them, but. Great decision right there to get that stop on the service air. Fort Camp. Playing dodgeball back there. She was ready to hit it. Then in the last second, she said, I'm going to get out of the way of this one. And that was a great decision on the Wabash Mutual telephone scoreboard. Fort Recovery gets the point. Now they serve. And again, St. Henry, such a good job of transitioning from defense to offense. Busher the libero passes it up. They get the spike. They get the point. A lot of times people wonder why, you know, you're serving right in the middle of the court, you know, you know, what, why would you do that? Well, a lot of times it's just a, so they have to make a decision. Do I try for it? Do I not try for it? Lauren Teeman with the serve for St. Henry. There's a sidewinder for Fort Recovery, but it goes long off of the arm of Sage Luthold. Ten point advantage now for St. Henry. Coach Krugenbiller, he's got one timeout left yet. He's got to be thinking about using it before this set gets away from him. I think he's going to see what happens on this particular point. High camp with the set. And a nice job there by Mara Pearson. She goes change up, doesn't hit it hard, but puts it in the hole in the middle of the floor. Fort Recovery with the point. She's going to go right to the service line. Mara Pearson for Fort Recovery with the serve. Jump serve. Nicely passed up. And there's Bomber again. Mara Pearson does a nice job. Wendell to Fort Camp, and she finds the spot. Sometimes that change up just really is effective because defensively you're set up for the power kill. And as a result, Fort Recovers have been able to get the last two points, Dar. Yeah, you don't have to kill it to get a point in this game. And that's the biggest thing on those change ups, I think you said, Dave. It's just, you know, you just got to get it over the net where somebody's not. Whirling goes with the kill attempt on set two. Fort Recovery digs it out. But St. Henry able to again adjust and hit the ball hard. Morgan Bomber with the kill. Now she's going to go behind the service line. And you can tell St. Henry just wants to finish this one off as quick as they can. They don't want this full recovery team hanging in there. Whirling with the back Ooh. set. The back set to Ellie Follenkamp. And that is just tremendously difficult to defend. That's uh, almost impossible at that point because she has just got up there, six foot frame getting up there as high as she got up. She's hitting downward on you. And, you know, even if you can get a hand on it, you're going to regret it. 
And there's an ace for St. Henry. Morgan Bomber finds the corner. And Coach Guggenbiller is going to call a timeout. We'll take one as well. District semifinal action, D3 style on WOSM. Welcome back to Kaleida High School. Fort Recovery in St. Henry battling here in Division III District Semifinal action. One of these teams is going to be done with their season tonight, Dar, but man, both of them are playing with a lot of heart, grit, and determination. Oh, absolutely. And they're doing a great job of covering the court and, you know, and, and the excitement between the two teams. You watch them as each one gets a point, you see the excitement between them. And, and, you know, it's great to see. And, you know, regardless of who wins this match, it, it's going to be, you know, one of that you can take to the bank and say, hey, we worked, we gave 100% out on the court. Couldn't agree with you more. The nonverbals for both squads, very, very positive on every single point. Great block there by number five, Ellie Fullenkamp, off of the Fort, Fort Camp spike attempt. And that increases the lead to 12, 20 to 8. Fort Recovery with seven seniors. St. Henry with only two. And right there's another ace for a sophomore for St. Henry again, number three, Morgan Bomber. Yeah, 56 aces coming into this match. And, you know, 131 kills, 208 digs, 17 blocks for that young lady, and she's only a junior. That one's deep off of Bomber's fist, and as a result, Fort Recovery will get the point. Now you're in a situation, Dar, where if you're Fort Recovery, we talk about volleyball and momentum. You may not be able to win the set, but you 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 want to make a presence here as we go down the stretch and let St. Henry that you're you know that you're just not giving into them. Oh, absolutely, and you know it's got to carry into the third set, and that's mm -hmm. the biggest thing right there. Like you said, Dave, you know, you're not going to win this set maybe, but if you can put some points on the board, make it close, that's going to give you a little bit of good feeling going into that last set, uh, that third set. Evers with the serve for Fort Recovery, whirling with the set, and Ellie Fullerkamp with the kill. St. Henry up 22 to 10 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Ryan Busher behind the serve line for St. Henry. Up 22 to 10, the left-hander kicks it over. Callie Wendell with a nice serve-receive. That's a nice pass. Oh, good and dig. a nice, as you said, a nice dig there by St. Henry for recovery. Comes right back. They go to Ford Camp. Whirling gets a hand on it, and then she goes over to and she finds the place where nobody is. And again, we've talked about it in the first uh, match tonight. We've seen setters in all, for all four teams. I swear they have peripheral vision. Yes, they do. That is just out of this world. They see things that the normal person just doesn't. And I think they got three arms too. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sure. Oh. Well, two hits there called on Fort Recovery, 24 to 10. St. Henry with the lead in set number two. Ryan Busher is going to try and put things away here with this serve. Callie Wendell with the return. And nice arm action there by Carly Niekamp off of the set from Kennedy Mullenkamp. Point for recovery. Fort Recovery getting the point to live another, for another set, or another point. Yep, Mullenkamp behind the service line. Pass up to Whirling to Gels. Callie Wendell does what she can, but unable to take care of that dig. And set number two goes to St. Henry, 25 to 11. A dominating performance here in set two by the Redskins. For recovery, gonna look to regroup as we go to set number three. It's high school tournament volleyball on WOSN.
Welcome back to Kaleida High School as we prepare for set number three between Fort Recovery and St. Henry. Our premier sponsor today for the St. Henry Redskins is Stockler Concrete. Stockler Concrete is wishing the St. Henry Redskins good luck in tonight's contest. Some stats from set number two. Fort Recovery, Tegan Fort Camp had three kills. And again, Ka Kayla Heitkamp had three sets, or assists, and Kennedy Molenkamp had two. Overall, after two sets, Fort Recovery has 13 total kills, two aces, and 13 assists. For St. Henry, it's parity again from, from the kill statistic. Chloe Gales had three. Morgan Barmer had three. Ellie Fullenkamp had three. And Carly Busher had three. For a total of 14 team kills with Wendell and Whirling both having won. 28 in the match, seven aces for St. Henry, and 25 assists now for Lydia Whirling after having 13 in the second set. That parody from the kill line, that oh, just makes just, it so tough for Fort Recovery, Dar. It certainly does, and like I said, when, when Gills goes back to serve, you know, they, they don't miss a beat. I mean, they've got two other people out there that are doing just the same thing that she's doing. You know, look at that block right there. A great hit by Tegan Fordkamp, but unfortunately she was a little deep and St. Henry was able to adjust and get the stuff block and get the first point here in set three. And again, it is imperative for Fort Recovery to hang around or even get the lead early to try and put some pressure on the Redskins. Yeah, if, if St. Henry can get an early big lead again, you know, this is pretty much gonna be over with Fort Recovery. Nice spike there by Molenkamp. St. Henry just not letting the ball hit the ground. Chloe Gals with the kill, but Fortcamp with the dig. Back the other way, fast and furious. Gals with another attempt. Oh my. Blocked by Fort Recovery. Gals digs it up. This time it's a set now for Fort Recovery. It's one of those long volleys early in the set, Dar. Who wants this point? Nobody wants to let it hit the ground, that's for sure. Fort Camp goes with the changeup. That doesn't work. Gels hits it over just to save the point, or as far as getting it over yeah. on three, and it ends up getting a point for St. Henry. Wow, fast and furious, and Gels gets the point for her team, the Redskins. Today we talked about that in the second set is these long volleys have just not been favorable for Fort Recovery because St. Henry just doing a great job of covering their side of the court. Morgan Bomber with another ace from behind the service line. Puts the lead up to three. Again, St. Henry wants to run away and hide. Fort Recovery, they're gonna have to dig in Fight their way back into this early in set three, down 2-0. Spike attempt by, attempt by Kennedy Mullenkamp goes long. It's 4-0, and Coach Guggenbiller sensing things, starting to slip away early in set three, calls timeout. I think that's a good call, Dar. I think it is, too, and you can see him down there coaching his girls and saying, basically, calm down, calm down, you know and kind of make your rotations. You know, you're kind of missing out on what you're supposed to be doing with these long volleys, particularly. You're getting yourself out of position. And then, you, as you saw on the point that, you, that Gail's got, I mean, everybody was shifted over to the left and nobody was in the middle there. And he's saying, you know, we can't give up territory like that, even if it is a long volley. Yeah, there's no doubt every girl in this Fort Recovery team, they want to have their season continue. They want to do it for each other. And I think you hit it spot on. Coach Guggenbiller saying, hey, stay within yourself. Stay within your role. And that way we'll be where we're supposed to be for each other on the court. Now let's go out and execute, ladies, and make that happen. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. And there's another ace for Bomber out of the timeout. If you're Coach Rosenbeck, you love seeing that. The other team trying to stop your momentum, you reestablish it right away. Yeah, and if you watch the way she serves, it comes off of the base of her hand pretty much, you know, and just dives like that. 
Yeah, she can hit it hard. She can hit it soft. Goes with the ice cream cone. Soft serve on that one. And gets another ace, does Bomber. Yeah, she used her fingertips on that serve. And the one before that, she hit it right off the base of her hand. Comes back with the line drive. Nicely dug out by Fort Camp. Comes back to Fort Camp. St. Henry there to defend. They defend again. Fort Camp giving it all she's got. But there's just too much from the red team right now. They put it on the line. Oh, my. What execution oh. by St. Henry. Fort recovery and Tegan Ford can't give it everything they can. But right now it's just not enough as St. Henry extends the lead to seven to zero. And Bomber puts that one in the net. And if you're Fort recovery, you'll take a point any way you That's can absolutely, right now. Absolutely, because right now you're playing against it looks like about five or six octopuses on that side <laughs> of the court because they got hands everywhere. Absolutely. Yes, couldn't agree with your analogy anymore. Evers with the serve for Fort Recovery. And the pass makes Whirling chase it. Gals gets a hand on it, a swing on it, but unfortunately goes in the net. Cuts the lead to five. Let's see if the Indians can get a couple more just like that. Evers with the serve. Busher. Nope. A little bit of a run. Yeah. Busher passed it up, but there it is again. Another unforced air on St. Henry's side of the net. That's two in a row. Evers needs to keep things rolling, see if she can hit the old dark ball here. Maybe get an ace, Dar. He's got a good serve. It looks like a knuckleball coming across. Busher to oh, Whirling, nice. but a great block by none other than Tegan Ford Camp off of the hit from Ellie Fullen Camp. And Coach Rosenbeck's going to take a timeout. Fort Recovery on a little run. We'll take a break as well. District semifinal action on WOSN. It's District 3, Division 3, excuse me, semifinal action between Fort Recovery and St. Henry. Today's premier sponsor for the St. Henry Redskins is Stockler Concrete, wishing the St. Henry Redskins good luck tonight. Evers behind the service line as St. Henry takes the timeout. See if she can keep things rolling for the Indians. Rolling with the set. It's a soft spike by Fullencamp. Not a soft one from Fort Camp. She hits it hard. Over to Gels does Whirling go. And it goes off the block and in play. Point for St. Henry. They get what they want out of the timeout. A break in the momentum that had gone Fort Recovery's way. A point in the serve. Raya Busher behind the serving line. And last time Raya Busher, Busher was back there, they scored uh, three or four points. Nice job there by Fort Recovery. Give the kill to Kennedy Mullenkamp. She's ambidextrous, if you will, Dar, as she is a setter and also a hitter for this Fort Recovery team. Does it with the arm swing on that one. Cuts the lead to three, and she's behind the service line. Whirling with the set. Gels from behind the 10-foot line. Dug out nicely by Pearson. Over to Ford Camp, and she gets the kill. Goes through the block of Whirling and Carly Busher. Fort recovery, not all the way back, but boy, are they battling. They cut the lead to two, Dar. They are really battling out there on every possession. Mullenkamp with the serve. Whirling going to go over and gets it past Mara Pearson. Those corners are open in that defensive set by Fort Recovery. Again, really eyes in the back of her head, in the front of her head. Just the understanding. It's like a point guard who can pass the ball wherever they want. John Stockton, a la John Stockton, mm -hmm. Magic Johnson. I'm going back a ways. The young ones no, watching, no. they might have to Google those names. Carly Wendell digs that one out. Fort Camp from the back row. Not able to get it over the net. I like her effort. Didn't quite have her footwork the way she wanted. But, and as a result, hits it into the net. But go hard or go home. That's right. And right now, St. Henry's you know, building their lead back up again. 
Fort Camp again at behind the 10 foot line and gets that one off the side of her hand and it goes cross court and out of bounds. And just when Fort Recovery had cut the lead to two at eight to six, St. Henry pushes it back to a five point advantage with your setter, Lydia Weirling, behind the service line. Weirling with the soft serve goes off of Mullenkamp. They have to free ball it over. Whirling in the center position, and it is a hammer. You don't need to look for your tool chest because the hammer is on the floor. Wow. Ellie Fullenkamp, the second, yeah. Fix that hole in the court down there. Right there. <laughs> she is second for St. Henry and Kills with 173, the six foot junior. Mullenkamp with the set to Guggenbiller. Oh, St. Henry defends it. They look for the kill, but as you said, a great block, if I could add the adjective for Fort Recovery. And Fort Camp is going to go back, or Fort Camp, excuse me. Got a lot of camps yes, sir, both are. ways. <laughs> She's behind the serving net, or serving line for Fort Recovery. Whirling with the set to none other than Carly Busher, and she blasted it through the Fort Recovery block for the Redskin point. Six point advantage here on our scoreboard, sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Chloe Gels with the serve, and then it comes back at her. Give the kill to Fort Recovery. Again, I, I saw Fort Recovery against Fort Laramie earlier this year. They took the number one team in division four to four sets before falling three to one. And just like them, no negative nonverbals on this Indian squad. Coach Guggenbiller's girls are locked in. They just got to find a way to get back into this third set. Yeah, they got to find a way to stop rallies by St. Henry. And so far, they haven't figured that one out yet. But. You know, it's not from lack of effort, like we said. They're they're all playing their hearts out. They're all over the court. But St. Henry's just finding the opening spots in the court. St. Henry just has that combination of power and water bugs, I like to call yeah. them, in that back row where they just don't let the ball hit the floor. From the service line, Olivia Gast. Here comes Fort Recovery. Nicely done. Your kill goes to number 12. That's Paige Guggenbiller. Cuts the lead to five. Kayla Heitkamp behind the service line now for Fort Recover. They need to go on a little run here. You don't want to be down 405 when your opponent gets to 20 in a match like this, Doc. No, you're not. The thing about St. Henry right now is it's not just the spikes, it's the touch. It is, and right there, what a great play. Gail's not the best pass in the world, but Whirling goes and gets it, and back bumps it, if you will, not a back set, and they're able to get a kill out of it. Just phenomenal transition from defense to offense there, and those are the kinds of things that win you championships. And a good serve right there. For recovery, has to free ball it over. Whirling decides to go. He tries to go to the sideline, but just a little too fine. It goes out of bounds. Fort Recovery will take that point. Cuts the lead to five. Mara Pearson behind the serving line now. And you just got to be careful if you're St. Henry not to get too cute. Yeah. You know, trying to find those open spots. Great point. Momentum, if it switches to the other side of the net, it may be hard to get it back. Fort Recovery's got a free ball it over, and it's on the wrong side of the candy cane, if you will, Dar. And St. Henry's going to get the ball, get the ball and the point, as that was called out of bounds. Great job by our officiating crew tonight. Yeah, good job to see that from, from where he was at. So Morgan Bomber, the leading server as far as aces are concerned for St. Henry behind the serving line. Goes at Callie Wendell. Nicely done there and goes over the net. Busher back to Bomber in the back row. Dug out nicely by Heitkamp. Goes to Fort Camp on the kill and the block. 
by number seven, Lydia Weirling. She's like Roy Kent. She's here, she's there, she's everywhere. I'm telling you, there's got, they all got at least three arms out there because they're touching everything that comes near them. <laughs> Timeout, Fort Recovery down 17 to 10. And again, Dar, just great volleyball action here. Two MAC schools, Midwest Athletic Conference schools. The winner's going to go on and play the number two team in the state. Yes, out of the MAC, Coldwater in our district championship game on Wednesday night right here at Kaleida High School. And St. Henry right now up two sets to zero, trying to put a finishing touch on set number three, but they're going to have to fight and work and earn it because this Fort Recovery squad, just so impressed, great senior leadership. Oh, absolutely. You know, right now, St. Henry's got, you know, so far in this match has had great serves. And if you watch them, you know, they're all pretty much line drives. I mean, they got some touch serves in there, but a lot of them are just barely clearing the net, you know. And then they're just playing great all around, you know, volleyball at the net itself. And like you said, they don't let anything touch the ground. Morgan Bomber serves it to Callie Wendell, and she does a nice job of passing it up. But the hit off of Kennedy Mullenkamp's arm goes long. The lead increases to eight. Yeah, poor recovery, trying to get it over those girls up front there from St. Henry, and a lot of their hit and spikes have been going long because of that. Wendell to Hyde Camp to Fort Camp, and it's a point for the Indians. And it's going to be the rotation where we've seen them have some success with Evers serving. Megan Evers behind the serve line for Fort Recovery. If you're part of the Indian faithful, you'd like to see a run right now. And unfortunately, as good as Evers has been tonight, that one sails wide on her. Point to St. Henry, and now it's Raya Busher. And they've had great success with Brian Busher back here, you know, serving. The left-hander sends it over the net. And a Fort Recovery unable to come up with it. Great effort there by Kenzie Garkey, but it, to no fruition, though. Busher again, up nine now. Bump set and spike as Fort Camp hits it over. Dug out by Gels, comes back to Gels, oh. and it's deep just by a little bit. Wow. If you're watching college volleyball, the coach might say, I'd like to challenge that one, but it's not college. And for that fact, I'm glad because sometimes those challenges at the college level eat up a lot of time and stop the action in the game. Here we go again, whirling with the set to Gels. Fort Recovery gets a hand on it. Great effort again. They're down and dirty on the hardwood, but they're unable to pull it back in. It's a nine-point lead now. Coach Guggenbiller is out of timeouts. He's used them when he needed to here in the third set. All he can do is keep encouraging his team. Coach Rosenbeck on St. Henry doing the same. But again, the St. Henry side of the net, a lot more comfortable right oh, now. A lot more comfortable, and they can feel this this match in their grasp at this point. You know, Gills has just done a great job up front there. Fort Camp goes cross corner with the kill and she gets it. Needed that cross corner because she hit it hard. It would have been out if she had tried to go down the line, but she gets the point and now she has the serve. And they're not gonna give up, that's for sure. Nope. I mean, there's no giving up in this in the MAC conference for sure. Busher takes the pass, whirling to number four, Molly Wendell, but Fort Recovery returns it. Mara Pearson comes right back at him. Great dig by Garkey. They go over and try to find the soft spot. They can't. Whirling hits it. Nice, oh, nice, nice job there by oh, Whoa! It's happening so fast, I can't say <laughs> names. But see, Henry keeps coming. Boy, there were no losers on that point. Oh, St. Henry not. just won it. That's all you can say about that. And you see the four recoveries coach down there just clapping yep. because he said, hey, yep. that was just great volleyball. Great tenacity on both sides of the net. St. Henry again, a tri-champion in the Midwest Athletic Conference. 
They both won sectional championships. Fort Recovery defeated Allen East three to zero. St. Henry Van Buren three to zero. And a great hit with the back set by Kennedy Mullenkamp. Carly Kneekamp gets the spike. Or that might have been Paige, um, excuse me, uh, Paige Guggenbiller with the spike. But it was a big point for Fort Recovery. Callie Wendell with the serve, the libero. Goes to her counterpart, Raya Busher, whirling. Right there, they get the block at the net. If Fort uh, Recovery, not, yeah. Yeah, if they can put a wall up here, defensively especially, because they're going to have to earn it. See, Henry just doesn't have unforced errors on their side of the net. No, and, they, and before cover saying, we're not ready to go home yet. Whirling with the set. Goes to Molly Wendell. She hits a hard block by Fort Recovery. They come right back. And Morgan Bomber comes through. Morgan Bomber, the, again, 5'8 sophomore, gets the kill. Pushes the lead to eight. And our scoreboard again, sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Olivia Gast with the serve. Fort Camp with the return. The set to Mara Pearson, and she gets the kill. Back and forth, back and forth. But right now, Fort Recovery can't go, afford exactly. to go back and forth. They no. need to. They're they, getting one or two points isn't mm -hmm. going to be enough. They can't be on the teeter-totter. They got to be on the slide coming down from the top and earning a lot of points all at once. Busher with the return off of Fort Camp serve. And you give the kill to Molly Window. Touched at the net by Fort Recovery, but they can't get enough on it to block it back. And it falls to the ground, to the floor. And it's set point, match point for St. Henry of 24-16. Laura T Lauren Tiemann serving for the Redskins. Jump serve. Oh and she my. wins it by hitting the tape and going over the net. A great effort by Kayla Heitkamp. But that's going to do it. St. Henry takes the third set, 25-16. to 16. They're going to advance to the district championship where they are going to take on Lee Foe, the Coldwater Cavaliers, Wednesday night right here at Kaleida High School. And it is a match that will be aired on WOSN as well. A great match, Dar. Uh, some thoughts about what we just witnessed by these two squads. Well, I tell you, St. Henry just, you know, had too many weapons today. I mean, they, you know, they played great on their serve. They played great at the, you know, at the net. They touched everything that came towards them, you know. But, you know, full recovery on, you know, 17 and 7 on the season, you know, but they played their hearts out. You know, they, they, they could have folded the tent a long time ago. They didn't do that. You know, they got down some big points. They came back, you know, put points back on there and, you know, made made a game of it. But, you know, St. Henry, it's going to be a great match between St. Henry and Coldwater again, you know, when those two hook up again. So, but, you know, give credit to Fort Recovery. You know, they had, they fought and fought hard throughout the thing, the entire match. So, you know, both teams, Good luck to them, you know, good luck to St. Henry as they move on. Good luck to Fort Recovery next season as well. I want to thank Megan Sherrick, who is our camera person this evening. She'll also do the editing of this match. I want to thank Adam Huber, our tournament director and athletic director at Kaleida High School for having us here this evening. And for Dar Nevergall, I'm Dave Bowen. Thank you for watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.